a day after several Bristol County, Massachusetts, communities were labeled high risk for mosquito-borne illnesses. Good evening, I'm Patrice Wood. I'm Gene Valisant. It's still prime season, unfortunately, until the first frost of the year. NBC 10's Molly Levine is live in New Bedford now with a warning from health departments. Molly? Yeah, Gene and Patrice, with a beautiful stretch of weather ahead of us, it's no shock that people want to be outside, but it's important to do what you can to avoid getting bitten. Health officials urging you and your family to heed the warnings. Uh, wear uh, long sleeves, long pants, uh, avoid evening activity, uh, avoid areas um, like wetlands. Um, that are prime mosquito habitat. Massachusetts health officials raising the mosquito-borne illness risk to high in Dartmouth, Cushnet, and New Bedford, among other areas. It comes after three new human cases of West Nile virus in the state. One of them is a woman in her 60s from Bristol County. The city of New Bedford is extending their ground spraying program by a week. Their final spray will target public parks. Dartmouth health officials say play ball with no rescheduling recommendations for after school activities and sports, but asking residents to exercise caution and city leaders in New Bedford following suit. I tried reaching a Cushnet school leaders today, but didn't get a response. After dark, yeah, they, they tend to, to get you if you come down here into the park. Russ Bayer lives by a river in Dartmouth. Can you sit outside at night or what? Um... Not really. Using bug spray, fixing broken screens, and draining standing water can help. Like I said, if you spray, you know, you can stay out for a few minutes, but it uh, doesn't take them long. They get you. Meanwhile, in Rhode Island, health officials announced the first human case of Triple E and the second case of West Nile virus. Two serious mosquito-borne illnesses, especially dangerous for those over the age of 60 or with underlying health conditions. Urging you to protect yourself, but Bayer reminding us it doesn't mean stay inside. Sorry, you can't stop living. So wear your bug spray, and if you have strong flu-like symptoms that persist, see your doctor. I'm live from New Bedford, Molly Levine, NBC10 News.